Welcome. All right, everybody. Here I am with Christian McBride. What up? And uh, we are at the uh, Montclair Jazz Festival, right? Correct. Not right. Montclair, California. Not Montclair, California. The other That's side. Right. Montclair, That's, New uh, Jersey. They did used to have a fun little jazz club. I don't know. If uh, you knew. In Montclair, California? Yeah, yeah Montclair. It was called the Hip Kitty. Ah. It was fun. Jazz and fondue. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so um, I'd like to ask you, is there any advice or anything that you'd like to give to uh, up-and-coming musicians? pursuing their dreams or making it, what, what does it take? See, I, I'm, I'm always one for specifics. Okay. Uh, it's, y your road could be a little harder if you practice really hard and you kind of don't have a goal in mind. I had a very specific goal in mind. When I was in high school, there was no one I wanted to play with more than Art Blakey. Okay. I wanted to be a messenger, unlike anything in the world. So I learned every record off of every, every every song off of every Art Blakey record I can learn. Now in doing that, I also wound up learning music by Freddie Hubbard, Wayne Shorter, Cedar Walton, Wynton Marcellus, Brent Marcellus, uh, Hank Mobley, Clifford Brown. So I wound up learning all of this music. So as fate would have it, you know, when Art Blakey would come to town, I would go there. I would try to watch him. I'd try to get backstage and talk to somebody, you know what I mean, just to kind of just kind of be there. That didn't necessarily work, but what worked was when I started getting called for gigs, like little gigs, little twenty, thirty dollar gigs. You be professional, you show up on time, you play the music that you're asked to play. Uh, 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 don't complain about little stuff. Yeah. You know, you're a side man. You're coming up in the ranks. Mm -hmm. Shut up. Go play a gig <laughs> yes. and play what you're asked to play. Period. Mm -hmm. End the story. Yeah. If they ask you to do something that might not be your style, tough. Yeah. Do what they ask you, you to do so you can build up your reputation. The band leader can say, you know what, I can trust that, that person. They, they, they did what I asked them to do. They showed up on time. They weren't in pain. It was all good. And then you start pursuing what you really want to do. Which uh, for you was that was for me solo? Was, was Art, no. no? I, okay, I, oh, Art Blakey. That exactly, was, that Art Blakey. Really so then, uh, as fate would have it, Art Blakey got sick right when I moved to New York City. So I never got to play with Art Blakey. I never lived my dream. But did that stop me? No, because I realized that there's a lot more people out there I really, really want to play with. And I realized the other people who I really, really wanted to play with were the people who played with Art Blakey. Because they all had their bands. Freddie yes. Hubbard, Wynton Marcellus, yes. Brad Marcellus, Terrence Blanchard, Donald Harrison, Cedar Walton. Because I learned all their music in trying to play with Art Blakey. Yeah. So when then when I got to play with Freddie Hubbard, because his band members at that time, Carl Allen, Benny Green, Don Braden, they were calling me to do little gigs around New York. Yeah. And they said, oh yeah, this little kid, you know, he seems professional, he's getting the stuff together, he knows a lot of music. And how old you know, were you when that started? 17. Oh boy, all right. And, um, because I was listening to these records and I'm learning yeah. these songs from these records. And then uh, when I finally got in Freddie Hubbard's band, Freddie Hubbard was surprised that the 17 year old kid knew a lot of his music already. Yeah, yeah. So once that started happening, it was sort of a rolling snowball. Okay. But you gotta shed hard and be professional. Right. Just be a good team player. Okay. Everybody wants to be Michael Jordan, but nobody wants to be Dennis Rodman. <laughs> Nobody wants to bang the boards. Everybody right, wants right. to, you know, uh, yeah, be Kobe and LeBron. You know what I mean? Work. Somebody's got to grab the rebounds, box out. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like be like this man, Bernard Ladies Purdy. You know what I mean? Bernard Purdy. How you doing? I'm the rebound man. <laughs> <laughs> the uh...